Okay, we are literally a minute away from this preview. Should be like doing the tweet thing here. So I want to give some just like last minute picks here. Obviously, I think LOE is the most deserving. I think when you think Looming Nemesis is like you think Frieza, you think something like that. I do think it'll be an LF. I think there probably is going to be an Ultra. If not him, then it could be like Z Broly. Um, I don't think it's DBS Broly. That's not really like DBS Broly is not really like a nemesis or anything. I don't think. Um, I don't think they go back to GT here. So I like I think that it is Final Form. Think Final Form Frieza. Think you know stuff like that. So anyways, I do think that we will see something. It just tweeted. It just tweeted. It just tweeted. I do think we will see something in relation. All right, new five. Oh, they're not. They're not spoiling. They're not spoiling. All right, here we go. Like the video. Subscribe. Let's see what it is. It, it, is it anything I just said? Here we go. Okay. Wait, that's not it's baby it is back to gt i just said i didn't think it'd go back to gt it is going back to gt <laughs> oh wait that's actually that's actually a pretty sick like sp it did go back to gt wow tuffles revenge begins now wow Oh my gosh, it is a baby, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Oh dude, this is such a good pick. I feel like the I feel like it's not as smooth as I'd want it to be, but this is such a good pick. He goes golden Azaru. Let's go! Bro, bro, this is what I wanted him to do. If he, like, we just talked about this in a dual summer the other day. Bro, they cooked. Look at him. Look at him. Holy, they cooked. All right, let me, let me see if uh, it's up on YouTube yet. Okay, here we go. It's, it's on YouTube. They also, they spoiled. It literally does say, I'm glad, I'm glad I just watched it on Twitter. Because it on Twitter they said new fighter and then they they started to spoil over here on Twitter. Okay, let's see if it's not nearly as shaky, a little bit, a little bit clearer. Because let's just be real. Bro, they are they hang on, can we be real for a sec? They are cooking this year. They are absolutely cooking this year. This is crazy. How just good these releases have been. Yeah, it's a lot less shaky. Twitter videos not the best. Revenge begins now. Wow, dude, baby is so cool. All right, let's see him. Let's see him. Not all shaky. Not all shaky cam, bro. I'm not. I'm not out here trying to watch. What was that? Cloverfield right now, bro. Let's see it nice and smooth and HD, baby. No pun intended. Dude, what is with them going crazy with these GT characters, man? Like these GT characters look so good. Look how good that bait. Look at this. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Bro, that is such a good LF. He looks so good. Golden Azaro is in the game, man. Okay, so the details are here for this guy. So let's let's see what he can do. With impressive abilities to stop opponents' combos and inflict massive damage with unfavorable elemental <laughs> element factors all applied, LL Survivor 2 joins the fight. Strength 1, stop combos and unleash this character's true potential for revenge. The unique gauge charges when taking attacks. Okay. When the unique gauge fills up, destroy the destroy two enemy cards, reduce their enemy key by 50, and on top of that, seal their... Oh god, dude, silly man ability is so annoying. This will help you put a stop to the enemy's combos. When the unique gauge is full, reduce the enemy's van... What? Unique gauge is full. Reduce the enemy's vanishing gauge to 0% and draw special move arts. Cool. Special move arts will get an amazing power up when the unique gauge is full, nullifying unfavorable elemental factors and endurance effects. Okay. Okay. Uh, strength 2. Turn 
strike slash blast attacks into a combo and deal some serious damage start off with strike slash blast arts nullify enemy special cover changes and increase your critical rate by up to 60 percent Plus, if your enemy switches characters, you get a huge boost to damage inflicted by strike slash blast arts. And you'll also draw up to two cards if you have three or fewer. You'll be amazed the amount of damage you can dish out after an enemy character switch. If there's even one defeated battle member, arts card draw speed will increase by an additional level for a total boost of two levels. And if there are two defeated battle members, then on top of that, your own unfavorable element factors will be nullified. If you combine this character with the Key Blast Absorbing LL Super 17, which of course you're going to, uh, in a tag GT or tag powerful opponent party, you'll also you'll have yourself a combination that can stop any opponent in their tracks. Strike fear into the hearts of your opponents with the LL Super Baby 2, the Vengeful Evil Life Form. Element Yellow. Uh, tags are Sand, Transforming Warrior, Regen, GT, Merging, and Powerful Opponent in an episode of Super Baby Saga GT. So here we go. Main ability. Reduce your enemy's Dragon Balls by one and cancel their attribute upgrades so you can withstand their attacks. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws the ultimate arts card revenge death ball next restore zone health by 25 percent and key by 50 that's actually pretty freaking good minus five the arts cost for 30 timer counts reduces enemies dragon ball by one and cancels enemy upgrades uh 25 timer counts have to elapse then z ability he boosts gt and powerful opponent and then uh then once you get to z ability three then you also get that to regen so all right yeah strike card blast card let's see what does this special do deals massive impact damage oh let's see what this this says if activated when the unique gauge is full this superpowered special move will nullify unfavorable element factors and endurance effects he can, he can kill endurance just on yeah yeah because it did say once once you, it's just tied to his unique gauge on hit it will obscure all enemy cards for five timer counts putting their opponent in a bind uh, deals massive impact damage 50 percent to special move damage inflicted for three timer counts upon activation obscures all enemy oh no i did i hate obscure man god that that it that sucks <laughs> all arts cards are turned face down for the effect duration and their positions are shuffled uh if unique gauge is full resets own unique gauge to zero and applies the following effects to self upon activation plus 20 percent to special move uh damage inflicted for three timer counts it nullifies unfavorable element factors for 10 timer counts it nullifies enemies it nullifies endurance uh, for three timer counts here's this green card this special arts allows you to counter your enemy's melee tap actions or strike arts when the counter activates you'll nullify enemy special cover changes and you'll also draw new cards if you have three or fewer okay your enemy's key will take a hit and your own unfavorable elements will be nullified just by activating this counter so go for it as you can without fear and that does not sound like that's tied to Hang on, is there nothing tied to if it's full? Let's see. The following effects occur upon activation. Restores on health by 15% and key by 50. Plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Nullifies on unfavorable factors for 10 timer counts and reduces enemy key by 60. God, this sucks. Counter will activate upon any melee tap actions or strike uh, arts while in fighting pose. Applies the following effects to self when counter activates. Randomly draws at most three new cards when you have three or fewer cards. Um, dude okay okay yeah yeah so you just it's just it's literally a, a just straight up it's a melee counter <sighs> which i know it said it up there but i'm just like reading it all here applies the following effects to self when counter activates randomly draws at most three new cards applies buff nullifies enemy special actions that activate when cover changing for five timer counts and you can combo strike blast um uh, blue and ultimates into this all right let's see what their ultimate does his sorry his ultimate does restore your vanishing age by 100 on activation sick love that ever dude so many units are getting this now not only will this ultimate arts help you get ready for your enemy counter attacks but if you activate it while the unique edge is full you'll get a huge boost to ultimate damage and inflict all enemies with no switching take aim with a revenge death ball and destroy your foe deals massive explode damage applies the following effects itself upon activation restores vanishing age by 100 plus 50 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts Appl applies attribute upgrade minus 20 percent to damage to enemies sustained damage cut effects for three timer counts nullifies enemies restore health when it reaches zero effects when this character attacks for three timer counts if unique is full resets on unique edge to zero and the following effects occur upon activation plus 70 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts inflicts all enemies with no switching and blast armor when charging forward so blast armor is only if you have the unique gauge that's interesting okay wow dude uh all right so let's see 100 damage inflicted uh, to tag say of course 
applies the following effects to self when battle starts 100 percent damage inflicted reduce damage wait reduces damage received by seven percent that's actually pretty substantial increases arts card draw speed by one level it's plus 70 percent to key recovery and minus 10 to special move arts costs Falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, or normally draws one new card, restores own health by 15% and key by 20, plus 80% to damage inflicted. Cannot be canceled, but this only activates once. Randomly destroys one enemy card, reduces enemy key by 20. Applies falling effects to self based on the number of defeated battle members, which we we they talked about this earlier. Nullifies unfavorable factors for 10 timer counts, increases our arts, arts card draw speed for 10 timer counts. Two members down. Um Right, yeah, two, two members defeated. Nullifies unfavorable element factors for 10 timer counts, increases our card draw speed for by one for 15 instead. Applies some falling, falling effects to self every time this character uses a strike a blast card, plus 20% to damage inflicted for five timer counts, 30% to critical rate for five timer counts. Nullify enemy special action that activates when changing cover for five timer counts. Wait. What? okay this only activates once okay dude i was about to say you just literally no matter what one time you're gonna just nullify no matter what cool uh activation count resets after character switch so you just switch him back in and then he gets oh love that that's so sick uh this character does have a special cover change against strike arts so knocks me back to long range if cover chains perform against their strike arts attack uh, you can combo with a blue. Following effects occur when changing cover. Restores on key by 30. Uh, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 10. Minus 10% to strike and arts power for 10 timer counts. Inflicts enemy with that attribute downgrade minus 20% to special move ultimate and awaken arts power for 10 timer counts. Greatly charges on unique gauge every time when hit with an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield. Following effects occur once unique gauge is full. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws a special move arts uh, card next. You can that activates twice. Restores own health by 25% and key by 50. Cancels own attribute downgrades in abnormal conditions. Increases own Dragon Balls by one. Randomly destroys two enemy cards. Reduces enemy key by 50. Reduces enemy vanishing age to 0%. This can activate twice as well. And seals all enemies' main abilities for 10 timer counts. The following effects occur when enemy switches characters while this character's on the battlefield. Restores on key by 30. Randomly draws at most two new cards when you have three or fewer. 50% to strike and blast arts damage inflicted for five time rounds. That's substantial. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus one arts called draw speed level for five time counts and inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 10% to damage received for 10 time counts. Shortens ally substitution counts by five when enemy activates an ultimate, awakened, or rising rush with the characters on the battlefield. That's also so freaking helpful. He sounds so toxic, dude. Oh, I mean, that's what you would expect from a Suri 2. By the way, the art is sick. There you go. That is Super Baby 2. That is our next Legends Limited. We'll be summoning for him in basically less than 24 hours. So hit that like button, subscribe, pick up some of the merch because you know what? It might be going off sale very soon. <laughs> and I'll see y'all the next time you click on the video right over there if you missed it. Bye.